tough to see all your faces, right? Um, upset, crying. It is. It, it really is tough. Um, I wasn't really prepared. Say goodbye, or... I really wasn't. I didn't want to do it. No, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I don't meet in every one of you. I meet all. And I really do appreciate all of you for coming in every single day and wanting to play this wonderful game. So a little less running, a little bit more uh, technical footwork all right, in this uh, scrimmage. Um, now, it, there's no secret that we have more offensive people than defensive people this year. All right? um, I think that that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. All right? um, now, you're not always going to play the position that you want to play, that maybe you played on another team. All right, because guess what? We have all different personnel on this team than you had on that team. All right, so what we are trying to do is we are trying to, this week, see who plays well with people on the team. Who plays well right next to someone, in front of someone, behind someone. All right, that's what we're looking at. We're looking at connections. All right, we're gonna be moving people around. Uh, a lot of our players, returning players, which was the majority of our team, I, I guess assumed that they would be playing the same types of roles, but um, the girls matured and developed, uh, and they evolved into um, a different formation. We played a different formation this year. Um, well, I know for me, coming off of last season, I played starting center back. So, <laughs> I think we all know that took a great turn going from center back to forward. But. As a player, throughout my years of soccer, I've learned to grow and adapt and to learn in every position. I think being a team and kind of being a family at this point, we all knew that we would do whatever it takes to win. <laughs> you're right, you're right. All right, wait, we got two people that don't have shin guards? All right, here's your warning, ladies. Tomorrow, you don't have shin guards. All right, we're going to do some extra running, the team. The team's going to do some extra Guys, running. Guys, do that to us. Okay? Yeah. Extra running as a team. Yeah. Come on, help Did each other home? out. All right, Somebody nice job today. Them. Please, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate all day long. Dime had plans for us to come out strong this season since we already had, you know, the previous season to figure things out, and we had this season to kind of put our mark on that, that we had to do more fitness because that was a big factor last year. And another thing was that I always was asking Dime, like, can we do a run this practice? Like, I have some ideas for us, you know. I know the girls hated it and they would always get mad at me because I'd be like, they'd be like, what are you talking to her about? <laughs> I'd be like, nothing, nothing. And they'd be like, whose idea was this? I was like, not mine. But I always wanted them to work hard. Our fitness this year um, was focused on individual improvement. All right, we tried to keep track of that. Um, we we incorporated more sprint work in our in our training sessions. 
Um, and I, I heard that Lisa did notice that. Um, we don't like to talk about it, we just do it. Um, because sometimes when you talk about it, they get in their own heads um, and they don't work as hard or they start to shut down. I feel like the preseason was, it was hard, but I feel like the difference is, is that we continued it so much through regular season. Going into this season, we knew what to expect. So we just worked for that. So yeah, it was just like, do what you did before, but like harder. Yeah. And then continue it through regular season. Don't like, just work really hard in the preseason and then, and then just yeah. like fall off. First game, it was like, all right, like we got the one. Cause I, from what I remember, they were pretty good. Yeah. So it was right. like, all right, we can compete. And it was just like, just keep trying to compete. Just keep trying to like stay in with everyone. Yeah, all right, ladies, have a seat. Relax. All right, we got 10 minutes here. All right. Um, Let me make it 20. <laughs> all right. Very aggressive team, yes? Yeah. Right. Yes. Very aggressive team. Yeah. Right. Uh, that aggressive in the middle. Yeah. 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 We can get by. Yeah. 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 Yeah
their love for the game. But I really think that Sophie Najem had a big improvement from last year. She, I talked to her a lot over the summer and stuff, and she was training, she was running all the time, lifting, and she's a girl that has a lot of heart for the game and for all of her teammates, and we all say that she really improved this year, and you can tell that her touches got better, her fitness got better. It was always good, but it got even better, and she just always you know, tried really hard. I think Rochelle improved greatly from last season. Um, she, there's just something about her that with her and Lisa in the backfield, like I never had a doubt in my mind or a worry that they wouldn't be able to get back there or that even if the ball got past MK, one of them would be sitting on the line, like waiting for it and to clear it. Then we had like Georgia, who was like such a big role in the center with like me. And it was like, everybody knows how that dynamic was in the center and with her gone, it was really hard. And then you had Hannah, who was like a first, like a first year here. And she stepped in and worked so hard and like made that position work. And like, yeah. it just went really smooth and it just showed, like she stepped up. She and stepped did. up tremendously. I'm gonna, you know, point, uh, give kudos to Mr. Simone because um, he made sure that we had two overnight trips. Um, and that's where a lot of that bonding and trust come in play and, you know, sharing and caring and looking out for each other. That's where it all came from. Um, and those overnight trips, I don't even think he knows what they do four teams. I mean, because it, it's just, it, it's a different team. They're helping each other out. They're looking out for each other. Um, it, it's as simple as that. And you, you think that, okay, what's the big deal? No, it's a, it's a huge deal because that carries onto the field. We had a lot of injuries. Uh, I'm thankful that I could play through my injury because it was only my arm. But like, we look like so many people, like Bree, Georgia, even Carolina, they all got like injured. But I feel like, of course, it had an impact. But we had so many. Our bench is so strong. So I feel like everyone stood up for the injured people and. They did a good job. I, I don't think we're surprised with what's happening out there, right? We kind of known that this is the kind of game it's going to be. All right. Um, just when you go in, I, all I'm going to ask you to do is make sure you're protecting yourself. You know, you know, protect yourself. All right. We don't want to. We don't want any more injuries at this point. And the refs is making. Okay. No, he's not going to help us. So we we've already conceded that. All right. We're not going to ask him for any more help because he's not going to give it. He, he's not capable. Okay. <laughs> We knew uh, Essex was coming in to get us. Um, they are very physical. They uh, Essex definitely outsized us. We're gonna win today. Totally, absolutely. Yeah. We're ready. We're yeah. so ready. Right? We know, right, that they're fast, right? Yeah. Right? I, I don't believe they're any faster than these this place on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. All right? Let's try to keep that uh, up tempo game fighting. All right, one, two, touch. It's moving on the ball. All right, moving, moving, moving. All right, um, let's try to keep that ball on the ground. All right, when we can. It's a little bit windy out there. All right, um, keeper, he's got good hands up high. All right, you need to shoot hard and low or in those upper 90s. 
call the shots. Okay. What did we learn from what happened to the boys? Yes. Don't fight. Okay. It will, listen, it will end our season. We understand. If they start to do anything to frustrate you, if we notice it, we will pull you out for a few minutes, put you back somewhere different. If it's happening to you, please let us know so that we don't have any words with anybody on that team. Bench people need to stay in this box. <coughs> Cut the time okay. to the talk. Yeah, let her get burned out. Yes. But I think, yeah, if we have any issues like that, it could end our season. All right? So let's not have that happen. This is our la seven, eight, and eleven. Right? right? This is our last season game, ladies. All right? Let's go out. All right? Playing well, just like it happened. All right? We're peaking right now. All right? We got to keep working, though. All right? Keep working. It's zero, zero right now. All right? Every day, we got to come out and prove ourselves. All right? Every single day. All right? You let up, you lose. No letting up. Okay? Be good? <clears throat> Come on, Marissa, finish it all, let's go! They were tough. They were very, very tough. Aggressive. But I just, we really... We needed the one, and yeah. we got it somehow. We really did. Um, with with so many returning girls, and you're used to us, and we're used to you. Um, we wanted everybody to be comfortable. I know we were comfortable, um, and we were. We always said it right from the beginning. It's one game at a time, and that's all we tried to do. All right, and we we kept to that. We, we kept to that. Um, you know, that was our philosophy right from the uh, the first uh, game. Um, you girls are making it fun. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Do you guys know I think of all of you as little sisters? You guys are my family. Girl, you gotta get better. It's hard work. You know, you guys would not have gotten here with each and every single one of you. You guys, it's just the reason why you keep winning is because of who you guys are. And you guys, you risk coming to practice every single day, given every single work, coming from different countries, leaving your families to come here. And that's why it's so special, is the diverse, you guys coming together. So keep it up. You guys are going to keep continuing to crush everything. And we're all so proud of you guys. No matter what keeps happening, we're just going to keep winning and winning and winning. You guys are such a bag. Try to!
one of my favorite moments uh, off the field after the game is when they dump the water on me. Um, they thought I was going to be mad, and I, I embraced it. You know, I, I will, if they're going to perform for me and for our staff and for our school like they have performed, I can take a little water. Am I taking a photo? All right. Sussex is always a competitor. If they're not our rival, then I mean they're definitely one top contender for that rival position. But I just remember going into that game, I had never been nervous for a game once that season. There was only maybe one other game, which was CCBC Essex, where I was talking to Chris and I was like, you know, I've never, I've never been nervous yet, and like I'm actually nervous. Um, but I think we had a lot like riding on us, you know. We had just come off a 14 and 0 undefeated league season. We were starting to get more attention. We were nationally ranked. Um, coaches have been talking nationals. We had been talking nationals. High intensity game, a lot like Union was. I don't know. Okay, one two touches, right? That's what they're going to be doing. All right. Know that when the ball is coming to you, all right, they're going to be pressuring you pretty quickly. All right, so be ready to play. All right, you, you can't take three touches. The, that first no, touch needs to hard. set up the second touch, okay? All right, play your game, play possession. No one all right, text about um, group chat. No you way. need to have confidence in yourselves, have confidence in each other, yeah. all right? Yeah. So we go, can do this. Guys, we've beat oh, yeah. them before, we're gonna beat them again. We're gonna be reading chats, we're gonna go to Arizona, okay? Let's go! And I remember that game, um, I think it was the first like maybe 15 minutes I felt very like confident with it. We were in their half, I mean, we were in their half their entire first half. Um, the last 20 minutes, yeah. I kind of knew I, that the I final... tearing up, I was like, no. Yeah, the f the last 20 minutes I knew that the game with Sussex was our last game. Just, and, and honestly, we had our opportunities. You know, I know we lost four to one. The, that, the score does not represent the game. But um, we had our opportunities, we didn't capitalize. They had their opportunities, they capitalized on everything we gave them. You know, um, but it, it wasn't our best performance. And it was unfortunate because that was probably the worst game we played all year.
the team really made me fall back in love with soccer because um, um, honestly I didn't really have a great season when I first came here and then this season I'd say Dime, Cindy and Carissa they also changed a little bit I don't know I can't explain in what way but everything worked out so much better this season or this year than last year um, and I really loved playing soccer again and I just like kind of wanted to say thank you to all of you all uh, for like making it this really help for the last year and a half and I, I had really so, <laughs> I had so much fun and I'm really grateful and I wish like good could still have one more season really are we're so proud of each and every single one of these, no matter what. I'm not going to do a big speech because I, I, I don't have words that can even put together right now. Usually I'm good at that and I'm really <laughs> choked up and don't cry, so thank you for that. <laughs> um, but we're just so proud of everybody. You know, you guys really put in all of the work and the effort until that last second you guys did everything you could. So for that, we're grateful for every single one of you. I think we got really lucky with our coaches. All three of them are amazing coaches and people in general. Starting off with Dime, she's like, she's always got a smile on her face. She's super happy and she really wants the best for everyone. This little lady gets crazy. <laughs> she gets crazy. Oh. But it's like so nice because like she like will fight for us like literally like this little this little lady like will go full grown man like for us. And then Cindy was like the mom of the team. The, the other mother <laughs> next to Paula. Yeah. She was the one that always had the snacks on the bus. If you ever needed anything, go to Cindy. And then Cindy would also like act like one of us. Like she'd always goof around with Corinne on the sidelines. As Dime trying to give like a serious talk at halftime, they'd be behind her like kicking water bottles, <laughs> yeah, kicking water bottles hitting each other with the Gatorade. And then Dime would look in the <laughs> Yeah. Chris and I fooled almost a half half the girls on the team that we were sisters. Yeah, we treated Carissa as like a sister teammate. Yeah. Like we wanted her to play with us on the field so bad. Just because she like she would practice with us and we would just have so much fun with her. And she was another one that was like if you didn't want to go to like the big coaches about it, like you could talk to her about anything in your life. And she is like such a good listener. She's such a good role model and probably one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my life. <laughs> if, I, if I had one wish, I wish this was a four-year school. Because, like, two years is not enough with these girls. Because look what they did from one year to two years. I know they're not done yet. Like I know this team is like these individual players, they haven't peaked yet. They were all dangerous out there, you know, from different spots on the field too. Dangerous players. So as long as you can score, you are never out of the game. And I really believe that. We never gave up. We never ever gave up out there. And, and that's something to be proud of too.